Hey everyone, on this video we're going to be going over the different types of battery chemistries that you would most commonly find on an e-bike today. Let's get started. So in pretty much all cases now you'll find the lithium battery inside of an e-bike, but that does come in a couple of different varieties. So the most common form of a lithium battery nowadays is going to be in the form of an 18650 battery cell. Now this cell is most commonly found now in a Tesla car and in some older applications where they came from was the older laptops. But this is the cell that is most seen in a electric bike nowadays. In some older cases, you'll find the pouch cell. Now this is something that's still sold today, but it's less common and you'll usually see this type of a battery in some of the cheaper setups. And in some very rare cases now, you'll find the old lead acid battery. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this at all. I would just shelf it and not even think about it because nowadays, if you're trying to get cheap power, this isn't even the way to go. Uh, lithium batteries are so cheap now for price per kilowatt that something like this is gonna end up costing you a lot more over time because these don't last very long. They don't deliver the amps consistently like a lithium battery does. And that's just it. They're just an older technology and that's all we can do. So that's it for this video. I hope that helps you understand the different types of battery chemistries that are out in the market nowadays a little bit better. And until the next video, I'll see you next time. Bye.